Hi, I'm Saren. And I'm Ray. We're your spider baby hosts from To Know Her Is To Fear Her, a Spider Woman podcast, as well as proud members of the collective. You're listening to Capes and Lunatics. Gimme, gimme. Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend D.G. Chichester, superhero movie brackets in our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Parrish, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. I'm here for Peter. Luca better be getting his shekel. Oh, he gets his shekel. Santa brought him many shekels. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of The Ultimate Spider Cat. Me! I am Phil, joining me as always. Phil that- Puberty Parrish! <laughs> hey! <laughs> and joining me as always, that creature of the night, it is. Lilith well, Bolton Hellfire. Tried her out of her coffin to do this episode. You know, honestly, fun fact here, Omen and Dracula, you know the one kind of reason yeah. why I'm not a writer. He slept in a coffin. Really? Uh, so one of those, that's the same character. I have to say, it looks comfy. But, you know, if you take out the six feet of dirt, it looks comfy. I mean, Surrounded by pillows, draped in velvet. I feel socially acceptable why I would drape myself in velvet. <laughs> oh, oh, this is going to be a good one. We're not even five minutes in and we got a Seinfeld. Reference. Exactly. I'm surprised you don't sleep in a coffin. I mean, you like it completely dark and quiet when you sleep, so. <laughs> I, have, I have, you know, the, the no sunlight. Drapes, uh, uh, what is it? A uh, hotel edition or whatever. <laughs> oh, there go the fireworks, I guess. Fireworks? Oh, oh, jeez. Yes, I live in Florida. Fireworks are legal here, unfortunately. I know, I know. We have them here too, but I was gonna say fireworks already, but it's Florida. I'm sure they shoot them off 365 days a year. Oh no, they did it for Christmas, and yeah. they'll do it until about the 10th of January. <laughs> Still until Fourth of July, huh? Uh, all right. So, <laughs> speaking of fireworks, uh, should we get to tonight's issue, and then we'll get to some of the new stuff? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right, kids. Last part of the uh, your Morbi your January Morbius, because once again, the Australian hell, we all might have two Australians here next time. So, all right. So tonight we are covering. Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, number 38. That's a mouthful. That's what she said. I've been watching too much Office. They're doing it. They're replaying every episode on Comedy Central. Uh, that taste is still in my mouth. Mm-hmm. And his dogs are about to die. That's a mouthful. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, yes, Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, 38, January 1980. That's right, kids. Before Little Hellfire's time. Yeesh. About one month before a uh, certain Australian's uh, birthday. He's not going to hear this. Fine. Oh, he might. No, no, it's Spider-Man. He might. He might, he might hear this. It's true. Sipping his wine. All right. So. Oh, boy. All right, kids. This is either the Spider-Man issue or the uh, title of the Lil's autobiography. Curse of the Living Vampire. At least you're living. Uh, writer Bill Mantlo, penciler. Prove it. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, I've been breathing. Um, once again, to go prove it. So you'd be surprised how much you can survive on just an IV of alcohol. Hey, well. Potato vodka nutrients. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so yeah, writer Bill Mantlo, penciler Sal Buscema. So some vampires getting right crossed. Oh, right into the sun. <laughs> Inker Chick Stone. That's a new one. Uh, Colors Bob Sharon. Wait, that's my new alias. Chick Stone hyphen Puckett. I was going to say, <laughs> I thought it was the whole Kelly Puckett thing, yeah. Uh, Colors Bob Sharon, letterer Diane Elbers, and editor Jim. Charlie Esser's favorite, Jim Shooter. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> this is a shooter production. 
So everything had to be right. All right. Uh... Sorry, Danielle. <laughs> no, she just walked in the door. Uh, all right. So get ready, kids. If you have your adult beverages or your um, smoky, smoky, get it ready because uh, you're never going to believe how this one ends. Smoked a doobie. Uh, more. <laughs> it's the 80s. You're lucky nobody's uh, doing a little sugar booger. So. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, yeah, it's the 80s, so, you know, everybody loves the you know what. Everyone loves cocaine. <laughs> and Shooter said, I'm uncancelable. <laughs> <laughs> no, he literally did that. I know. Then they canceled him. All right, so the fancy man get it get it the full title. Morbius, the living vampire, is back on the loose, attacking innocent victims by night. While during the day, Peter Parker goes about his daily life, visiting his aunt May in the hospital and attending class. However, the strain gets to Peter, and during one class with Kurt Connors, Peter snaps at his professor and later notices that he has a skin rash. Ah, uh, all those loose women. Uh, uh, later, Peter and. Later, Peter and Philip, which I believe is Philip Chang, are invited uh, to their classmate Chip's father's mansion for a party. When they arrive, they are shocked to find that it's a costume party and they were unprepared. Chip shows off his costume, which is a split nature, and dubs it his psychoid man costume. <laughs> Schizoid man costume. Uh, I think that shows up later. Uh, however, something turns out to be very wrong with Chip when Morbius attacks the party looking for a new victim to feed his bloodlust. As Peter slips away and changes into Spider-Man, Chip begins exhibiting special powers and attacks people in the crowd. While Spider-Man fights Morbius outside <laughs> of the mansion, the battle ends suddenly. What do you think he is, a daywalker? Uh, What's well, night time? Come on. No, Lil. Uh, I know, as pale as he is, the moon should be burning his skin. Just saying. Oh, just wait. Here we go. The battle ends suddenly when Morbius is struck by a bolt of lightning. Barry? Is that you? Uh... Spider-Man realizes Hit him with the old thunder, the lightning punch. <laughs> and not just the lightning, kids. Morbius started to feed on Spider-Man when he got hit by the lightning. So radioactive blood plus lightning. Well, you know, it, it could have been the other fluid because that's technically radioactive as well. So yeah, but I heard that. He should count his blessings. Hey, oh. We know how Peter likes to abuse the elderly. So <laughs> damn. Ah. So, He's a menace! So exchange radioactive blood for chemicals, and this is Barry Allen's origin. <laughs> that was some hard radioactive blood, eh? Oh, yo. Uh, Spider-Man realizes that it has caused Morbius to change back to his normal human self, just as a party what? Goer, As a party goer, so it would stop Chip from fleeing the scene of the party. <sighs> so, so lightning did not give him abs, it gave him color. <laughs> Uh, and I still love season one of The Flash, despite that. <laughs> despite that terrible line. What? And like, a CGI you know. abs. I I still I will stand by <laughs> season one Flash. I will stand by it. Well, I think we're gonna get a flashback to that soon, aren't we? Season one. I'm trying to conjure up some nostalgia and goodwill, I guess. <laughs> Oh, well, oh, that's right. You may have not watched the end of uh, Armageddon Part 5. Never mind. Uh, yes, I'm on four. Leave me alone. Okay. Let's make sure you watch to the end. Uh, okay, so a lot of continuity notes. References made of Spider-Man's recent battle against Mysterio at the Restwell Nursing Home. Oh my See, God. he abuses the elderly. That's what I'm saying. we got to cover that someday. This happens in Amazing Spider-Man 199 and 200. So that's what they were doing for the 200s back then? Okay. <laughs> oh, the burglar shows back up. Yeah. Yeah. I believe Mysterio just takes off. He, he don't get captured. He just takes off and it's like... <laughs> it's like, see you later, bunkies. <laughs> it's, it's Peter versus the burglar and he once again, he has a uh, existential crisis, you know, I love Spider-Man too. Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> well, it's more like, hey, my powers don't work, you know. Psychosomatic! <laughs> exactly. Uh, we also get Barney Bushkin goes over photos of some of Spider-Man's most recent battles against the Black Cat Amazing Spider-Man 194 
Me? Wow. Uh, the Lizard and, and the Iguana. Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man 32 through 34. The Kingpin. <sighs> the Kingpin. Jesus. Of, the Kingpin, Amazing Spider-Man 197. Hey, remember when continuity mattered? Dr. Octopus. Cheese and rice, Philip. <laughs> Dr. Octopus, uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual 13, and Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man Annual 1, and Mysteria, like we said, Amazing Spider-Man 199 and 200. <sighs> and that's the only one he Power, had. Power, responsibility, yada, yada, yada. And again, that was only just Amazing and Spectacular. There was no Marvel <laughs> team up in there. There was no other books yet. Uh, and yes, the Mystery of K... Peter's short temper is revealed in Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man number 40. It's hormones. There's no secret. Mm. Or he makes another startling transformation. That's why you gotta choke that chicken. You gotta let the poison out. Oh, oh yeah. Get the get the poison out. Uh. The heart was implied. Choke that chicken. Murder and get mass. Murder and pitch. Oh, that yeah. chicken. What? Said uh, the guilt mask when uh, also apply at that point. Oh, uh, oh, I'm gonna wear a gimp mask and murder people. Not you, Alan Moore. Sit down. Oh, <laughs> Alan Moore wishes he was that cold. Oh, I'm gonna wear a gimp mask and murder people. He stole it. All right, so. What did you think, Lilith? Morbius is curious. I think it was hilarious. I know. I would just, I, no, I, I don't know if it was intentional, but it's hilarious to me. I know. It's just like, and he'll never be a vampire again. Okay. Um, no, that's that's not how status quo works. <laughs> they were definitely still on their horror thing. We still needed a living vampire because, you know, the rights to Dracula was getting a little sketch. Oh, yeah. Because I think, like, he wanders around the Marvel Universe for a while as just, like, a regular scientist, and then, what is it, like, 88 or 89, I think, uh, I mean, there's a few years, but then once, I think, Doctor Strange gets a title again, there's a vampire story, and we get Morbius back. Yeah, we're back to, like, trying to make that a thing. Can't keep a good vampire. You know, honestly, Disney dropped the ball, because I'm just saying, there's been a resurgence of love for Twilight, so that means a resurgence in all things vampires, no matter how cringy, is right around the corner, especially since people are absolutely sick of zombies. And werewolves, it's it, it's never the right time for werewolves, as Team Wolf learned. I mean, <laughs> so I'm just saying, so does that Morbius. They can, they can throw out a show on Crackle, if Crackle's still, still a thing. I don't know, it's still a button on my remote, so I assume so. I mean, it seems to come in cycles. Yeah, the vampires and zombies, you know, the vampires for a while, and then, you know, Walking Dead took over. Now I think, yeah, we're back to vampires. So. Yeah, people, yeah, yeah, thank you for making people sick of zombies. Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, Walking Dead Beyond, sorry, Marnell, sorry, Diane. <laughs> oh, they'll tell you about uh, Fear the Walking Dead and World Beyond. I mean, when the, when, when, when the guy that writes the comic books calls it a day, maybe you should think about wrapping it up. Hey, Not uh, add another spinoff? Well, World Beyond's over. It was only two seasons. It's over. So, But okay. hey, little th- I'm sure they're working on those movies and another spinoff. Trust me, AMC, that's the only thing they got. We need spinoffs. We need the money. Gimme, gimme. I mean, that thing must be still be making money hand over fist, so. At this point, just shut down AMC Plus and just make it all shutter. Put all the money in this shutter. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, back to this. Oh, uh, so, so yeah. Uh, I can't wait to see. What- like poor Morbius, he's such a joke. But he, like, like modern day Morbius is pretty neat, though. I'm glad that they finally got a handle on him. But man, it was a rough go of it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, he was a joke early on because it's like they re- they really couldn't go too graphic with him. So it's like, and it could, yeah, and he had to be a living, va- you know, he turned himself that way through science, and you know, you know like his soul was damned or something, yeah. And we could yeah. cure him for a while. For a while. Uh. And then that radioactive bat. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, they cured him for a while. I tried to just have him as regular Dr. Michael Morbius, but, you know. That's... No one no one cares. Like, you know how many scientists are in the Marvel Universe that nobody gets? If you're not Reed Richards or Tony Stark or Bruce, no no one cares. And ironically, <laughs> the story of him as a regular. You have no money. <laughs> Ironically, the guy, the story of him as a regular guy <clears throat> sucked. Not ironic. It was, it was to be expected. 
Well, because he wasn't like his origin has been so like blinking, you miss it that you never really actually care about the the guy he was before. You know what I mean? So that's where they really messed up with it. Well, again, it was like in the middle of a. Spider-Man. He's not compelling. He's a jerk. I mean, we have that with Doctor Strange. We already got a jerk that's a doctor. You know. And again, most of the th- you know until the nineties when he gets pretty much as a you know his own series, he's basically just a punching bag for superheroes. I really feel like that 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 episode uh, from Spider Man is what made them give him his own series, honestly, because that's actually a pretty high, highly rated uh, episode of the Spider Man. What sucker hands? cartoon? Sucker hands. <laughs> yeah, kids loved it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was like a bunch of toys. In a way, that's kind of. I like- never collected those cheap ones. I think they were made by Bandai or oh, something. It's something about those damn like X Men and Spider Man toys. Not the like ten inch figures or whatever, but like the little yeah. tiny six inch action figures, they were always garbage. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get any from the Spider Man animated series. I got some X Men. Were this the animated series? It might have been before, right before the animated series. They put out like an X Men line. No, I have mine. It was X Men, the TV, and see on Fox Kids right on the box. <laughs> I got the one like Wolverine had claws that popped out. I mean, all three claws were like one big plastic piece but yeah they popped out Cyclops is on I got Rogue I got Gambit I got Bishop I got Mystique I got three Mystiques I don't know why (laughs) whoa I think she was on sale at one point everyone got you the same thing for your birthday no I think it was when KB Toy Stores was closing out or whatever Uh, good old KB Toy Store There's, like, no more toy stores around here. And the old shorts is gone. Toy- well, Toys R Us is trying to make a comeback, so. And there's still a thing in Canada, if you don't, if you didn't know, so. And Kmart's thriving in Australia, so you just never know. Whoa. You mean old kangaroo mart? That's what the K stands for now. It must be. Poor Kreskies. <laughs> uh. Anywho, uh, let's get on to the next issue. <laughs> All right, so, well, we got the new stuff, so. Yeah. Uh, well, right. the the newer stuff that we haven't caught up on yet. Yeah, I was gonna say we were kind wink, of behind, we're kind of well, we're kind of behind because of the movie review and you know with whippies and stuff. So let's play some catch up. All right, do you want to do the two amazing Spider Mans or the Dark Hole first? Uh, let's do Dark Hole. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of horror. All right. So, yeah. I mean. What did you think of this? I have. Have you read any of the other Dark Hold issues? I haven't. Re- I didn't read any of the other. Dark no. Stuff, so. This one, like, I, I like, you know, I like what I like, and I get what I get, and I was just, this one, I was just like, oh, what's this all about then? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's based what like uh, was this enough a- to make a, <laughs> a a sailor blush here. <laughs> Like a spell gone wrong or something, because like basically the, everyone in New York's falling apart. It's like haven't we? It feels oddly familiar, and I don't know how. It feels about it. And it's like only Spider-Man's powers kept him from being affected. I'm like, there's no one. Radioactivity else. has its perks. I know, but, okay? I'm, but I'm saying there's no one else in this world whose powers like he. It's I mean, the guilt that permeates his aura. Nothing can penetrate. Mm. The power of Hashtag, guilt. All, well, although if that was true, then Matt Murdock wouldn't wouldn't be affected either. But he's got his own thing, so he can't get pulled into this. That's true. Yeah, because it, it's weird. Because I guess Peter's with Gwen here, and then people are just guilt. I'm telling you, it's the it's the aura of guilt. Mark my words. I mean, I remember I was reading this. I was like, I'm not even going to tell Charlie about this because yeah, I mean, Otto's in it, but. Not, not anything to write home about. I don't think Charlie wants to see Auden literally falling apart. <laughs> he is an old man. I mean, if you want to see a better Auto, read uh, Devil's Reign number two. I agree. But uh, we'll cover that over on the Devil You Know, the Daredevil podcast. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned, kids. And Super Connectivity, yeah, we're doing Devil's Reign 2 there. And then every issue of Superior 4. Four autos for the price of one. Uh, oh, that's too many. That's too many tentacles. I mean, <laughs> never thought I'd say that. Hey, oh. I know. What's going on with you? I don't think what those the are tentacles. F? I mean, speaking of that, I mean, the, the zombie people are, are bad enough, but man, you know, the whole most horrible thing in this is Reed Richards. I like that. That's my favorite part. I know, but just the body horror. It, it reflects how he really is on the inside, as far as I'm concerned. I know. Damn bastard. Just, just like. <laughs> I know, he still has to, like, pull himself together. and 
I don't know if you guys figured it out. This is a Reed Richards slander podcast. <laughs> I mean, are there, are there like really big like Reed Richards uh, fanboys out there anymore? I don't know, but we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess, right in. But yeah, the whole thing was like Gwen calling Peter, and then I guess by the time he gets there, it's too late. She's, I guess, I guess these zombies basically just like stop eventually. <laughs> Marvel would have got enough with the whole Marvel zombies thing, but I guess they're bringing that back, so... Synergy? Question mark? Uh, well, again, you know, what if probably revitalized all the, uh, oh, hey, let's do an alternate this or that. Yeah, Again, what if did a zombie episode, so of course, you know. Yeah, but aren't they doing something with Marvel zombies on Disney Plus? I, think, I thought I read that somewhere. I, they might be getting an anime... I don't know. I know, I think they were saying they might go back to some of those uh, episodes, you know, because it is getting season two, but I don't know if Marvel Zombies is getting its own thing or not, maybe. I don't know, I thought I read that. Might have been a dream. Because you know they love those visuals, kids. The Marvel Zombies and Spider-Man in that Doctor I mean, that, I mean the only way they could be graphic is to have a cartoon at this point, I guess, so. It's che- well, it's cheaper than doing all that. <laughs> uh, oh, and then the Venom thing in this. The symbiote just basically got yeah. Eddie's dead body. And so, yeah, if you're looking for a dark tar- tail, kids, <laughs> here you go. Uh, so- uh, it's not that dark, but it's dark enough. Well, did you like it? Uh, it was okay. Yeah, I know. Like, I- this is not what I, I, it's not what I want for my Spider-Man. Yeah, that's true. And like I said, once again, we just, like, jumped in the middle of this. I haven't read any of the other dark hold stuff. Yeah, I'm not in the mood for an event. <laughs> I don't even know what this event is. I'm like, is this like an alternate thing? or? Oh, yeah, I know I wasn't crazy. They had that announcement on Disney Day where they were talking about the new X-Men uh, cart- continuation. Yeah, I knew they were. Th- they said something about it. Yeah. Because everyone went wild about it. Oh, hey, look, your boyfriend's going to be in the, I guess they're doing the final uh, Maestro miniseries soon. Oh, that's sad. He's gonna be beating up uh, your boyfriend Namor. He's got a, looks like he has a good teeth. <laughs> He's gonna try. Oh, Imperious Rex. Damn straight. I swear, like I'm this close to getting that tattoo. This close. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. Will was talking right about, on the back of the neck. <laughs> Will, Will was talking about doing a stretch goal of like where he gets tattooed. I'm like, oh, you gotta let like say you, you know the committee gets the vote on it. Like me, Kona. It's like oh. Oh no. <laughs> I will not allow you to scar Will for life. Well he, well, he wanted to add his wife. I'm like, that's no fun. Oh, that's little, no fun. Oh, a little hellfire. I get you attacked. Oh, my God. Little na- Namor and the little thong, and it says Imperious <laughs> Sex. Oh. Absolutely not. That's why you're not in charge, Philip. That's why it's a committee of your peers. <laughs> I was like, you know how much embarrassing stuff I have on places where the public won't see? None. I love all my tattoos. Oh, the ones yeah. that didn't get removed anyway. <laughs> oh, you got some removed. Mm. Uh, what were the names? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, effing right. <laughs> Demon, Demon Lords. <laughs> all right, let's get to the amazing, amazing Spider-Mans. Uh, now that's an issue I can get behind. Hell. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, here, let's do the two. First, we'll do 82, the uh, second salad in the med issue. What did you think of? This This one was weird. This was another, uh, you know, Peter in the hall. It was weird, but in a good way. Yeah. Um, I'm just getting nervous, though. It's like, it, I feel like the story is still too straightforward. I'm just waiting on that other shit to drop. It seems like, it almost seems like they're, they're getting sick of Ben already, but it. I'm pretty sure they're spinning them off because I did not pick it up today, but I saw a preview for uh, all the, the article a couple times. Thank you, CBR. Uh, I guess in Timeless, they must... Oh, good for them! They actually reported on a comic book. Oh, good was, for them! Was it CBR or was it somebody else? Or maybe it was... It's probably uh, IGN, huh? Might have, been a bu- might have been a bunch of different... Uh, thank you, dear. It uh, might be a bunch of different articles. But uh, Timeless came out. I guess it was teasing stuff coming up for next year for the year, and it's like... I don't know how straightforward they put it but i guess they were teasing something about ben going to the west coast so like we like we called it yeah <laughs> like i heard there was a lethal protector out here i got something to say about that so i'm assuming maybe he'll get his own book you know after that j 
jam D. Mateus flashback thing. Maybe I wonder if he's. Oh my god! If he gets an on game, yeah, D. Mateus has to do it. Come on. I think that that's what we're leading up to. He's a good writer, and the nostalgia factor. I mean, they could always send Ben to Florida. It doesn't always have to be the West Coast. <laughs> we will keep Ben very, very busy down here. He'd be yeah. like, Florida man is my arch nemesis. <laughs> It seems like they always want to get as far from New York as possible, so it's like, gotta throw them the California. But no, because it's perfect, because New Yorkers always come down to Florida after they're tired yeah. of New-, New York. I'm just saying. Well, that series where Kane was the Scarlet Spider, he was in Dallas. That was... Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> even though he left the... So that's when out. Dallas was a name brand. <laughs> Dallas has not been a name brand in, like, literally 20, 25 years. I don't know. Fight me, Cowboys fans! I will wreck your stuff. This was this was like ten years ago, so I don't know. Yeah, they like I said, they have him in a name brand. Well, 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 he left the state a lot too, so. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, no, the solid and Ahmed, the second issue, it was good. But yeah, there was Peter, and you know that I was gonna say guy, but that, well, you know, you you can't leave the fans hanging on uh, tinter hooks for too long. Yeah. But that creature... We gotta have some peak time. hey hey Well, how, what did you think about Mary Jane saving the day? Uh, it's not as gratuitous as it, it would have been had she not had her own uh, series for a while, so... True. Oh, yeah, that was... Like, I, yeah, that laid the foundation where I'm not annoyed when Mary Jane does that now. We're getting that Mary Jane Black Cat one-shot stuff coming here soon. They just... They, they, they leave Peter for each other. That That's that's my prediction. hey <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh my god. We, oh my god. We get out of our Marvel sirens. Just they take Janine with them. <laughs> oh. Matter of fact, they can, they can go conjure up a good old ghost spider while they're at it, too. <laughs> but all the boys are single. <laughs> oh my. But, I'm not, but it, I don't know if it's just the multiple writers thing, but it seems like they leave us hanging on stuff because at the end of this one, like Colleen and uh, Misty run into the lizard and then they don't. Put, Again, it's a different writer, but they don't pick that up the next issue, so it's... Uh, it's probably going to be something in their own book. <laughs> oh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> you know something? No, no. I was going to say, you don't see any advanced... Just, in the, just putting it into the um, just putting it into the atmosphere, because we need that book. I... Especially since Luke Cage isn't getting a story. That is so weird, because it's like, if you read Devil's Reign 2... Like there's, yes, there's I a, know. The, that page in the back, they're like, "Oh, coming up next," and Luke Cage is it's still, still there. Yes. So did they just Oof. not bother to fix that? It's like no, how, they didn't. So they must have waited. Till and you know what? The, you know what the, the the writer said. It's like you know, there's only two reasons why a book doesn't come out. Somebody doesn't like it, or it just wouldn't be done on time. Well, my stuff was done on time, Ooh. so somebody didn't like it. <laughs> It's like, oh, careful now. So they must have waited. You'll be starting a Kickstarter. Careful now. So they must have waited to the last possible moment to cancel that thing. Because, yeah. Absolutely. Because, like I said, I have the so this is all the way up until March. And the number three is in March still. So it's just like, ooh. And it's like, if you read Devil's Reign 2 Kids, I mean, Luke's going to play a big part. So are we going to be missing out on, like, crucial stuff? Are they going to have to put, like, little epilogue in the last one now or something? I don't know, because it's like, yeah, he's gonna play a big part in this story, you know, it's not like he's gonna be a background character, so I don't know what I mean, it's gonna... It's now a, that I think about it, he's well, not on the box. Well, so. you know what? It was gonna... You know, oh, actually, yes he is! He's even on the Devil's Rage co- Oh my god. Well, I mean, he's showing bad. up in the mini se- in the regular miniseries, but I mean... I, 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 I want to know what happened. I, if anybody has tea on this whole Luke Cage fiasco, I need to know. Yeah, please. Uh, any any inside Marvel sources? Can you let us? I mean, it's a political story. The Luke Cage part. Do you think so? That scared somebody off at Marvel. They're like, oh no, no, we can't. You know. You know what? Yep. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, I want this inside scoop. All right. It's a shame too, because it, it was time for Luke Cage to make a resurgence. Oh yeah, definitely should have. But yeah, even even it, I, it's still good. But like I said, I'm wait. It's like it feels too straightforward. I'm just waiting on the other shoe to drop. Like what? Like we're deep into it now. Hell, hey, well, and I just need to know. I like know. I have my theories, but like even my my theories are just like shaky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so 
All right. But the new issue of Amazing 83, what you think of that? More PETA. <laughs> no Ben. Yeah. Yeah. It's like now they're, I think they're trying to walk it back now. And I don't like that. Like, well, like Ben always gets the short end of the stick. I hate it. It's like, you guys sold us on this premise. Don't be shy now. Oh my. A little Hellfire calling for more Ben Riley. Whoa. I mean, that was, that's like the whole pre- prerequisite of this, this story. And now they're like, back, walking it back. I don't like that. I love Ben Riley. I know. The only Ben Riley I got this week was Devil's Reign 2. <laughs> Somewhere where I didn't think he would show up. <laughs> uh, first, the new flavor of the month. But yeah, no, I mean it's an okay, okay enough story, but I'm like. But again, too. Uh, six, drop flat thread, I guess. I don't know. Again, 60th anniversary, so. Yeah, but that's a little bit later. Like, but again, it, but again, too. I mean, with a weekly book, I guess you know maybe the next two issues, maybe we won't get much Peter. So. Yeah, right. Well, did you see it? Did they you- know where their bread is butter, let's be real. But at the same time, there are, like, Ben Riley fans, and they always get the short end of the stick. So I just thought that they would be a little bit more careful about it this time around. Well, did you see the uh, pre the pre- the uh, preview of the cover for next episode, next issue? Yeah. Yeah, I know that that's going to get somebody to pick it up. Auto, auto, sm- auto, sm- auto smack. White suit, better. baby. Yeah, white suit auto. You know, which pisses me off. They don't have, the, I haven't been able to find a white suit auto for Funko Pops. Do they Only have, in his tentacles. Do they have one? I would assume they would. It's, cla- it's classic. It's vintage. I mean, they did the first appearance vulture for God's sakes. I mean, if, first if, appearance auto, if, you know. If not a Funko, they need like a full action like a, a figure or like even a statue white suit auto i guess but though the fact that they're kind of like trying to make kingpin a thing and he has the white suit they might try to steer away from that i don't know but i need it first appearance auto white suit i guess because yeah because devil's rain he's not wearing the white suit but over here he's wearing really wearing the white suit that's what alfred molina should have been wearing in that movie can you imagine <laughs> I don't think too many of them. Like, see, that's the thing about movie fans. They tend to be movie-only fans, so they can't really do the super, super deep cuts. I know, but it's like... Especially those Maguire movies. Like, those fans, awful. (laughs) Well, no, I think Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man fans are actually awful because they can't admit how terrible those movies were and then it didn't deserve a third movie. Still doesn't deserve a third movie, but whatever. They don't even have cold, hard, wet nipples in that movie, so, you know... (laughs) That doesn't get Lil Hellfire's vote. How dare you? How good could it be? <laughs> every every movie Lil Hellfire watches has to have nipples. Cold, wet, hard nipples. Male or female, I don't discriminate. <laughs> they can look at her hard drive. Every every movie has at least has No, like nobody needs to see that. <laughs> <laughs> but every movie she watches has nipples. Cold, wet, hard nipples. Uh. Oh God! Like I shout out to Netflix for like allowing. Oh, what's Amazon Prime now that's doing it too? Yeah, full frontal flaccid penis is not the move. Just keep it, keep it above the belly button for men, please. <laughs> please, let's not make that a trend. I was eating. <laughs> would it be better? Would it be better if they were not flaccid? And then it'd be rated X, and they couldn't, <laughs> couldn't put it on there. But it was just like, um, it was like no warning. So yeah, at least at least give me a warning. <laughs> male nudity, not just nudity. Say, say male nudity, so I know. What's the matter, Lil? Uh, were you eating spaghetti or something? <laughs> no, I was and meatballs. That that's the funny thing. <laughs> it's a giant size man thing. <laughs> but anywho, yeah. Because <laughs> Ray, I, I want to go back to the simple days. <laughs> Maybe. I should just watch Disney Plus. That's where it's safe. It's PG, thir- not even PG thirteen, just PG. <laughs> well, it's like just take it back to the seventies. Everyone just has a lot of hair. <laughs> well, you can't see anything. They got a squint. <laughs> you wear, oh, you're wearing a robe, but no <laughs> fur robe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, I feel really bad for Ben Riley fans. But I mean, the story's good. But like, don't walk it back. You committed to it. You're trying to right the wrongs of the past. Yes. So just you have to go for it. I mean, I was, and I feel like they're not really trying to go for it. Like I thought that they would. So I mean, I was glad to see Peter back, but yeah, it's like I want to see some Ben too. I need a break from Peter. He's a menace. Like I told you. I know that's what I thought we were getting. At least you know. You think they timed it for a uh, Spider-Man No Way Home or whatever? Maybe. 
maybe. I mean, if you look at 75, at least some of those covers have two Spider-Men on it, so. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's what it was. You know what? Before, People rush out. Before this event is over, we're going to get at least one or two more covers with two Spider-Men on it. Uh, or maybe three. Who would that be? Miles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant three Peters because of the movie. Yeah. Oh, spoilers! Can you see people are still people are complaining on social media? Bro, in the in, 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 <laughs> in the in the way that our world is set up now, uh, you get till Monday morning after the movie. That's it. As, that's all. Especially a movie that made a billion dollars, so everyone's seen it. If you haven't, seen if you're it, the last person on earth, that's, yeah. If you haven't seen it within two weeks, don't you know? Well, maybe you shouldn't go on social media because two weeks. I mean. Every podcast has done a review of it. Everyone's talking about it. Yeah, you're not. Every YouTube channel has burnt out all the <laughs> things you missed, things you didn't notice. Here's my review. Here's the recap. Uh, <laughs> Did you notice all these Easter eggs? Here's the deleted scenes. Here's the alternate ending. <laughs> Let's just get it out on Blu-ray already, kids. I, I honestly think it is. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> or it's on streaming at least or something. I saw it like, for like rent on YouTube or something. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that's a, uh, I don't think that's a, uh, authorized, uh. <laughs> don't think that's a legitimate link. <laughs> I mean, you could probably put together the whole movie just from, you know, everybody in the country's just, like, held their phone up and filmed parts of the movie. See, nobody did that at my screening. I, I would have hit him in the back of the head with a shoe, so. I saw two, I saw some goth couple doing it. Yeah. I was like, we're not in Russia or Korea. We don't do that here. <laughs> we don't do that here. So what did you think of this 83? It's like, I thought for a second they were like going to try to take away the spider sense because I think it, it just seems to be... His like, tingle wasn't tingling! Yes! I was like, oh no! Psychosomatic though. You have to remember with Peter. I know, but I just thought, uh, some. I think some writers don't like the spider sense, so they either like... It is ridiculous, it. but it's a comic book. It is what it is at this point. And they don't let, it's established, know. important canon. It's ting ting tingling, ting ting tingling. That's like saying Superman is from Argo City or something. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't give Bendis ideas. My fault. Um. <laughs> uh. Take a drink. It's been a while. I've been trying to be nice. Don't hurt yourself. Uh. Wait a minute. Did I move my Bendis button? Here? That should be like the first button, first of all. It's at the bottom. Bendis, Bendis, Bendis. No, it's there. First button, first page. Bendis, Bendis, Bendis. It's on the Charlie Usser page. Come on, Leah. I said what I said. First button, first page. Everyone else, it's like, you know, just one page. Lilith Hellfire, it's like, is that on Lilith Hellfire 1 or Lilith 2? I don't know. I thought I had three at this point. To Not, yet. <laughs> Not yet, but probably... I'm- Probably in a few months. Well, I'm gonna be sober, so I don't. I don't think we're gonna have any. Like, I have any more love drops. Oh no! <laughs> never know. You never know. Uh, pl- oh, please, you said some sober. Come on. Does Russell flat twist? Like I have it. <laughs> That's Does a flat twist. Like uh, Poor Phil doesn't know sober Lilith. It's it's sad. <laughs> it's so salty. She's gonna be sitting here with a cup of tea. Ah, oh, yes. Very good, very well. <laughs> Could have cheerio and all that. <laughs> but I love how Patrick Gleason had to put one of his uh, alternate covers in the story. <laughs> or was that He's like, you're part? not going to tell me, bait and switch. <laughs> I like that. I like that for him. I really enjoy his artwork. I do. Oh, yeah. And he wrote this, too. So, I mean, yeah, it was a good, yeah, good job, Patrick Gleason. Pulling the double dude. You know, honestly, I feel like that's probably why I don't write comics, because I can't really draw that well. Like, I just, I, I think mean, there's great artists, but I just feel like I have such an ADHD brain that I don't think anybody would really decipher it. <laughs> but if I was an artist, I would have been writing comics a long time ago, just pulling double duty. I would love to write. It's just, I don't know. I'm always afraid of. I feel like that's the hardest and easiest, because you can't just go, they fight for 15. <laughs> I know, I'm probably too old school. It's just like, hey, we need some subplots and yeah. <laughs> I just want the story to matter. Oh, it's part of an event. I'll sit this one out. Somebody get back. Hey, what's, hey, what's, hey, what's, hey, two pages. Of, what's the gang at the bugle, Dan? Ah. Ah, the 90s. 
Hearts of Darkness, man. We we definitely need to do like a crossover for some for oh, that for something. Oh my god! Oh, it's on land. If we get like Ray and Russell and a bunch of people, we should do a live read. <gasps> yes, that's so hard to put together though. I know. As you learned for our hundredth episode. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, no, get everyone on screen at one time with the comic in front of them and say, okay, you're Ghost Rider, you're Wolverine, yeah, just do it. Yeah, I'm not Ray, I'm not stitching together all this dialogue. <laughs> He's like, I'm not a fancy man. I don't know how he does that. No, kids, if you have not uh, listened, listen to the last uh, Into the Night episode of the year. Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. That's right, kids. Hey, Quantum Carol. <laughs> Lilf is there. I'm there. Charlie Esser is there. Mr. Will Allred is the narrator. Oh, yes. Yes. The the, the quantum man figures big into that episode. So. That. Ah, oh, just a big happy collector of family. That smart, handsome man, the quantum man. Oh. All right. Uh, Did you know he wrote comic books? Fun fact. Who, the quantum man? <laughs> oh, Mr. Will Allred. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I know. His his Kickstarter was very successful, kids. Very successful. <laughs> oh yes, he broke many stretch goals. So I'm I'm assuming there will be an issue for us. So. Can't wait. I told him I'm all happy. I'm like, oh, people are throwing in so much money. I'm going to get a bunch of extras for my contribution. <laughs> I told him. I said he hit like the sixth stretch goal. I said maybe for like the tenth stretch goal, you should be like, oh yeah, if you hit that, you're going to get like. Uh, Hologram covers and you know, ticket nineties foil covers. Oh my god! I don't even think the factories that made them make those know, anymore. Probably, they they probably, burn the mold in the nineties. I know. I said that he, he goes holo, he goes glow in the dark cover. I'm like yes, <gasps> yes. You all know that Ghost Rider cover. Uh, <sighs> all right, little hell fire. Unless you weren't a cool nineties kid. Only in the, only cool nineties kids know stuff like that. <laughs> That's right. Let me get out of my rocking chair. Uh, <laughs> all right. Are we done? Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, we're never done, but for now. All right, kids. So, yes, this was your last Morbius for January. Like I said, next. next Can't wait to review the movie. Oh, yeah. We'll, oh, yeah. We'll do that. <laughs> We'll do it on capes or something. Oh, definitely. We'll, we'll just mention it briefly. <laughs> it's, it's, gonna, we can do it, no need. We can do a capes episode. It's if it's a slow news week, feel yeah. free. At least. All right. So, yes, next week, kids, like I said, you might get not one but two Australians and hopefully the return of Mr. Macona for another uh, Scarlet Spider episode where we cover Venom along came a spider. Sausage! Thank you, Captain ADHD. See? Then you get me started. Then I have to hit the button because sausage. It's fine having a sausage fest. <sighs> so yes. See, Ray says it's okay. Yes, Ray okay's the sausage fest. All right. So yes, next week uh, for the sausage fest, uh, Venom, a long came a spider miniseries, and the Spider-Man Punisher was it family plot two issue series. So. Ooh. Incompetence ensues. Ven hey, you can join us if you want. Venom, Frank Castle. Oh, it's nineties. It's baby. a nineties party. <laughs> it's nineties, Jerry. Nineties. All right, and then in February, Little Hellfire returns. I threw some classics on there for um the sixtieth anniversary. So the first one in January, Amazing Spider-Man fifty. You know, Spider-Man No More. The garbage. Can. I have that poster. The garbage can. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, Didn't we do that one already? Nope. I think I had it. I might have had it on there and we switched. Are it you sure? No, nah, oh yeah, no, no, on no. On another podcast, maybe. Are you sure? I've never covered okay. that unless you've done it. You have all this okay. experience. Uh and then the week after that, Amazing Spider Man eighty eight through ninety, the uh death of a major uh, supporting character. Well you know it's not Aunt May, obviously. And it's an auto What's sport. this the yeah, it's an audio story. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, oh, and then the uh, the week after that will be our uh, Carnage episode. I have some uh, issues for that. Dirty 30 for the Carney! Oh my god, They I got the free Marvel calendar at the shop today. There's a lot of anniversaries next year. Um, and Spider-Man 2099 wasn't even on it. Carnage was, though. Uh, Luke Cage and Ghost Rider are both 50. Uh, Doom is 60. Four is sixty. 
Oh, you know what we have to do somewhere? Uh, New Mutants, is, I think, is the 40th anniversary. Oh, you don't like New Mutants? Okay. I thought you liked, all of them. I thought you liked most of the Mutants. No, that's fine. Not New Mutants. No. Oh, no, I said Charlie asked for the list, because uh, so I'm like, we can cover some stuff on Super Connect. Super Connectivity. Yeah, you can give him New Mutants. <laughs> oh, please, he's going to cover it all. Oh, wait, I did send him the list. I can... We might we might have to we might have to mud wrestle for Doom, though. Oh, my. Well, you, or you can just join us. <laughs> you and Charlie mud wrestle. There you go. Patreon exclusive. Oh, yes, the Incredible Hulk 60th anniversary next year also. Yes. Uh, oh, God. You know what was on the calendar? The 10-year anniversary of Carol Danvers becoming Captain Marvel. <laughs> Crickets. Yeah. yeah. Get the uh, yeah, get the YouTube channel for that eye roll, kids. Oh, I did see, um, oh, what was it, Captain Marvel or whatever? Yes. I saw his Funko Pop for his first appearance anniversary. Oh, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I think that might be a Walgreens exclusive. I thought I saw that. It, might be. I think. I almost, you I, know, I kept scrolling, but I, I saw it. <laughs> I keep almost pulling the trigger at FYE. They actually have like a, one of those figures. I don't know if it's a Marvel Legends or one of them of Marvel. You better get it. It'll be worth money. Trust me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> it's like the Thor stuff. <laughs> oh, Very oh, limited. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it's the anniversary of a guy that none of us liked on the Quantum Zone. Uh, Adam Warlock is going to be 50. Hey, man, he's coming to the MCU. You better snatch up all the Adam Warlock you can. Snatch it. Uh, all right, so, yes, kids, got a lot of good stuff to look forward to. And once again, your your Sausage Fest will be at the last, last uh, Tuesday of every month, kids, so back on track, so. Send us your thoughts. Email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail, 614-382-2737. That's 614 Not a voicemail, the <laughs> voicemail, our voicemail. The Capes and Lunatics voicemail. And remember, follow Ultimate Spidercast on Facebook, on Twitter. Join our Web of Spider-Man Facebook fan group now at 3.1 thousand members. Get flipped right in the face! Wow! Damn, kids. Mine's organic. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the face. Pull yourself up and slip into it. Ah, so, yes, uh, find all of the uh, social medias for all of our shows. Uh, links to the YouTube channel. See little Hellfire's hand gestures, eye rolls, all of it on YouTube. I, I recognize intercourse. <laughs> uh, see, Charlie Oscar just gift that keeps on giving. I'm that kind of freak. Uncancelable! Oh, ah! I, I know what that hand signal was for. Give your wife something. Blue Chew? Oh, yes, Blue Chew, please. please. Now I'm gonna have to go harass them on social media. If it's good enough for Joe Rogan, it's good enough for me. Oh, do it, do it. I'm gonna need some of my, uh, some of my, um, some Jeff clips, please. Hey, and tell, tell me. Send them all to me. I'm gonna be like, Blue Chew? I'm going to harass you every day until you sponsor us. And if you harass them on social media, just let me know. I will join in. I recognize intercourse. I recognize apple juice. <laughs> Alright, kids. So, yeah. So, uh, the YouTube channel. Most importantly, if you can, please uh, subscribe to our Patreon. Uh, every little bit helps. We're out here on our own. There is no Beyond Corporation for us anymore. Not yet, Blue Chew. Yes, Blue Chew. <laughs> save, save us, Blue Chew. Uh, or harass Blue Chew on social media on our behalf as well. Feel free. Come on, Russell. This is this is tailor made for you. Come on. And once again, thank you to our patrons, Ray, Russell, and Justin. Ah, yes, good, very good. And you could get called out as well if you join the Patreon. Every little bit helps, but three to five dollars to be pandered to for three to five dollars. That's the best deal in town. <laughs> Get your own drops, get pander to. I mean, come on. Wild like an animal. And you get exclusive content. Uh, the creator interviews, Mr. DG Chichester is there every month. Uh, the Chichester chats, trademark pending, depending on if he wants it or not. <laughs> and the superhero movie brackets are coming, kids, where we pit two movies against each get other. Get your alcohol month. ready. You know, Lil Fentrolier. <laughs> I think Kristen wants in on those. She she's asked me about those a few times. So. Oh, sweet! Mm. Yeah, the more the merrier. Anything to break up our our little our 
little bubble. <laughs> there are other people on the network, you know. <laughs> and I offer to everybody <laughs> our little triumvirate of evil. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, New Jersey is contagious. <laughs> you said New Jersey. <laughs> Mark your bingo card, Seinfeld reference, New Jersey reference. <laughs> Blue Chew. <laughs> we meant Bendis. We meant Alan Moore. Oh, that should be a full bingo card for somebody. <laughs> we mentioned the Drunk Love Hellfire. Uh, we mentioned Ray and Sausage. Uh, it's fine having a sausage fest. Yeah, I think the bingo card's full this time, kids. <laughs> Welcome to the Hell, we even got a Joker nugget for no reason on a Spider Man podcast. <laughs> Coming in hot in 2022. So, yeah, so uh, please, if you can, subscribe to the Patreon. Hey, if you think this is fun, you should see us on Patreon. Uh, so, yes, that, or get yourself the Capes and Lunatics, or Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks merch. Uh, find links to all of it. I made sure it was updated. Yes, all in one place. Hey, be like that celebrity, Mr. DG Chichester, and get yourself a uh, Capes and Lunatics cup. All right, so, yes, find links to all of everything we just said, all in one place. That's Linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. And if you haven't been paying attention, it's on the screen, all our, all of our social media. and the- T-Public merch! Hey, man, we got Teespring and T-Public, so suck it, nerds. We got two stores, so you have no excuse for not finding merch you like. All right, Little Hellfire, where can people find you? If you guys want to hang me on the interwebs in this new year, feel free to uh, follow me on Twitter at Lil Hellfire, on Instagram at Lil Hellfire sixty nine, and of course on TikTok, making spicy comments at Lil Hellfire sixty nine. Duh, we were busy boning. Can't stop drinking. It better only is better. Look at my butt. You can't stop drinking, oh, Nightwing. You can't stop drinking on me. Come on. It's so salty. <laughs> I can and I will. And shut your filthy mouth. I love you yelling at yourself. I'm going to stop drinking. And shut your filthy mouth. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> That's what happens at the house. Those dogs are just like, oh no, she'd have another spell. <laughs> All right, kids. Thank you for joining us. Again, one week, come back for the sausage, the 90s sausage fest. And then in two weeks, Lilith is back for Spider-Man No More. That's right, kids. The trash can. But until then, swing on that. Thwip, thwip, thwip. Thwip it good. Hi. I'm one of the high priests of Conchu Ray, and I have the sacred privilege of providing you, the loony listener, with a podcast honouring Marvel's very own Moon Knight. So join me and a host of others at Into the Night, a Moon Knight podcast. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram or support the show by becoming a Patreon member. Into the Night, a Moon Knight podcast. It's time to get your conchu on.